In this video, how to create a button from any images. Button click in one simple knot only. And how to use it for multi-touch on your phone game project. First, make sure you updated the newest version of Visual Scripting. You can create some UI buttons from your icons. Select UI image. Set its size. You must set the constant screen size of UI too. Name it button A. And put it on the corner. Import some icons. You can download them free with link under video. Convert them to 2D sprites. Add icon to UI button A. You must add a collider for Raycast to be able to hit. Scale the size of collider to cover on the icon. Duplicate it to create button B. You can download this folder free with link under video. Create an object. Add new visual scripting script. Open folder tutorial macro. Add prefab button events to hierarchy. Set on layers which Raycast can hit your buttons. Max fingers is the maximum of number of fingers or touches can detect from your game screen. Open button events and copy this one to use. It will work on any script or on any objects. Enter button name you want to detect the click on. Begin is click down or touch begin. Ended is mouse up or touch ended. Touch end is the number of the current touches. Mouse click always be the first touch. If button A is clicked on, let's print out a message. Copy this for the button B. Select face ended for mouse up or touch ended. If button B is clicked on, show message B's mouse up. Let's play to test it. It worked with mouse up and down. Let's connect your phone and test it. On menu editor, you can see your phone name here. Select this option to have better graphics on your phone. Open Unity Remote from your phone and let's play. Touch events work well too. Let's try it on game with a joystick controller and button jump on the right. First, a prefab button events to the hierarchy. Select the layers of buttons. 
I will select all layers, but ignore free cast layer and use maximum 3 fingers. Open button event script to copy this event to use. Open player controller script, paste touch event here. Enter button name to detect with ray cast. I rated a button zoom with a box collider 2D already. Enter its name. Detect it with a touch begin and with first touch or first finger for now. You can press play to try it. It worked super easy to use. Next, let's add a touch event on joystick. I will replace the mouse click with touch event. I created a joystick error with a box collider 2D. If you touch on this error, player can move. Enter its name into button name. To replace mouse hole, we will use touch move and try it with one finger first. Movement events need the mouse position. We have touch position here instead. If mouse up, player will stop movement. To replace mouse up, you can use touch ended. If you are touching on joystick area, then move to another area. Bell's value will be triggered to stop the movement too. Let's test it with a mouse click on PC first. It worked well. Next, let's use second finger to jump while first finger moving player. Even you can use third finger too. Do the same to add multi-touch for joystick controller. You can combine movement events to one. Because they need input touch position, you need to add new variable. Use this way to combine them. Do the same to add third finger touch. Now you use mode to test the game on your phone. One finger is working. Two fingers to move and zoom work well too. I can use two fingers to move layer and rotate the camera at the same time. Now you know how to use multi-touch buttons super easy and fast for your phone games or even on the PC games. If you love it, just say thanks me at the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.